Your extended forecast. You are looking at a live picture of Daytona Beach, Florida, where winds are now gusting to about 20 miles an hour, but should pick up considerably in the next few hours as the center of Hurricane Charlie moves up through the central part of the state and into the northeastern part of the state. We also want to take a look at pictures from Port Charlotte, where the storm really caused problems here to a gas station in the area. Little by little, the winds ripped away at the roof of this gas station, eventually peeling the metal right off the, the top of the awning here until it was no more. So this just goes to show you how strong these storms can be. Well, Hurricane Charlie has made landfall, but it's not over yet. I'm Christina Abernathy. And I'm Carl Parker. Thank you so much for joining us for this extended coverage of Hurricane Charlie. Well, we'll have several live updates throughout the night. Storm tracker Jim Cantori joins us live from downtown Fort Myers. Jim, how are things there now? Well, Christina, it's dark right now. There's uh, no power in the city, and if I look across the river, yeah, I can see cars coming across the bridge, but I cannot see power in uh, North Fort Myers or out uh, toward the coastline as well, and that's been expected too. Uh, there have been reports of approximately a million people without power. Some of that can actually be the power company shutting down power so they can reestablish those grids faster. They're not doing that on purpose. They're doing it so they can get power back quicker. So that is something, uh, if we find more information out for you, we'll definitely let you know. But as far as I can see, and here at the hotel, we have no power tonight. It's the satellite generator uh, truck that we're obviously allowing us to show these lights here to you this evening. Let me show you uh, Punta Gorda here. We're going to go 20 miles to my north and west, and you can see what are just, just north-northwest here, some down trees, uh, overturned trailers there. Uh, they definitely took a bigger hit for sure. Uh, winds gusting over 100 miles an hour. We had an unofficial report of 127. I don't know if that has been confirmed at this point. Uh, also trailers uh, with roofs off in these areas. Fort Myers, not as bad. Again, we were about 15 miles as the crow flies to the south of the actual eye wall of this thing. Trees and tree limbs sprung through the streets, power outages, as we mentioned. And certainly, uh, we even saw on the other side of this hotel probably about a 50, 60 foot pine that fell over right in the middle of the road. They had to have a big pail over here to uh, remove that. So that's probably going to be the familiar scene across this area. But, you know, I, I, I hasten to think what uh, we will see on Captiva perhaps uh, outer Sanibel Island as uh, crews can get out there and assess that damage to tomorrow, obviously, when these winds die down. I don't think it's going to be a pretty situation, that's for sure. Well, let's get an idea where this thing's going tonight because Charlie is still a very dangerous storm. Dr. Steve Lyons, a hurricane expert. Where's this thing going, Steve? Well, Jim, brace yourself if you're in Orlando. It's just about there with the strong winds. But let me, let me update you just a little bit on the northern portions of Captiva Island, as Jim was just questioning. 160 homes destroyed. Another 160 damage. That's uh, the current report so far. And in a shelter in DeSoto, where 1,200 people were inside, the roof blew off. That must have been some pretty terrifying result for some people. Now, here's the circulation here. It's riding just up along the east side of, of Interstate 4. It's going to come up over uh, uh, Pine Castle and then up over the Orlando Airport, more over the Kissimmee area. And it's this band of heavy rain there that's got the very strong damaging winds in it and that's going to do some significant damage. We expect the center to move by between 9 and 11. Winds to hurricane strength are likely. Tree damage, power outage is likely. The tree damage is often associated with wet soil and it's been very wet there. And heavy rain and an isolated tornado is not at all impossible. Dr. Forbes will keep you updated on that. Here's our basically our cone of impact for wind relative to the trees and power lines. And you can see it coming almost all the way up to the east coast of Florida over the next uh, 6 to 12 hours as it moves off into the Atlantic Basin uh, and forms back into an open ocean system uh, very soon. 
Now let's look at what else we've got going on relative to the circulations track. Here it is. Uh, by Saturday morning, it's back out over the Atlantic briefly and heading toward the Carolinas. And it looks right now like the stronger side of the circulation, which is the right side, will bring the most wind action and wave action to northern South Carolina and southern North Carolina. However, it could be very blustery weather and very rainy all the way up both all three of these states, including Georgia, and up the eastern United States over the next couple of days. Let's get back to the studio. Well, ever since Hurricane Charlie skirted Cuba this morning, we've been showing you dramatic scenes of a hurricane's power. This afternoon, a news crew from WKMG-TV really got a first-hand look at Charlie as it ripped the roof off a building as they were standing beside it. Reporter Donald Forbes recounts the moments, the events, just moments after it happens. Yeah, we just took a little bit of a blow here. Actually, the roof just came off of the building. We're standing behind a concrete enclosure here, and inadvertently, somehow, I took the brunt of it, partly in the face, partly in the thumb here. I want you to take a look to my left here, though. We're, this is the eye, and we're trying to stay low here, trying to stay out of the way. But this is what the eye of the hurricane looks like, and this is why it's dangerous when you get hit in the head with a roof that you weren't expecting to come. All of those panels up there used to be blue. Now you can see where they're gone. I was only three feet away when that roof came down on top of us. Photographer Joe Carroll, I think he's all right. I'm hoping that uh, Jeff Seegers, our man, the satellite truck is all right at this point. But uh, the eye is officially here. If it isn't, I'm afraid of what's going to happen next. And that's the very scary thing about covering a hurricane is you can't be exactly sure of how bad it's going to get when it is already quite bad. That's right. Well, of course, we'll continue to keep you updated on, on Charlie and give you the very latest. Here are pictures out of Fort Myers where you had terrible problems there with winds of estimate, estimates of 127 miles per hour. There was roof damage at Cape Coral Hospital, a roof collapse at Arcadia Stadium. Small planes were toppled. Now I look back and I go, what was I thinking? Skateboard went. I went bam. I tried to stand up and I couldn't. I can't work. I'm like, who's gonna pay for college now? It's a good thing we had the disability insurance. Mutual of Omaha. It was impressive. Begin today. Today, you're a super painter with the amazing Wagner Wide Shot Power Painter. Fast and neat. It lets you paint up to 12 inches wide in one pass. The Power Painter. One of the ways Wagner gives you more power because there's always something that needs painting. Wagner. Paint fast. Paint smart. The Wagner Wide Shot Power Painter. Professional results in a third of the time. Hey. Hi. You want to save money on gas? How about 10%? Huh? You know, today, that's 18 cents a gallon. Ooh. So, start saving. Get the Marathon Platinum MasterCard from Chase and receive a huge introductory 10% rebate on all Marathon purchases. Then 5% after that. Here's an application. Sure. Thanks. I gotta go. I need it on pump five. <laughs> Earn free gas with a Marathon Platinum MasterCard. Apply today at your local Marathon station or call 1 800 Fill It Up. This bolt is four and a half inches long, made from hardened alloy steel. Six of them connect the cargo box of the Ford F 150 to its frame. Why do we do this when others don't? Because we're building the strongest pickup. You can be sure of that. We are. Only one truck earned the right to be the next Ford F-150. It's ant season. Terminix them with our exclusive problem-solved guarantee. 1-800-TERMINIX. Ask me anything about cranberries. I spent most of my life knee-deep in them. I don't have time to think about retirement. So I found someone I trusted to do it for me. Retirement and estate planning from Mutual of Omaha. Begin today. Stay tuned. Hurricane coverage will continue on the Weather Channel. Right now, here's your local on the 8s. Currently in your area, 65 degrees. Under mostly cloudy skies.
your forecast. Your extended forecast. These scenes captured on video around four this afternoon as a sailboat is on its side here in the shores of Port Charlotte, west of Fort Myers. The storm moved in right at four o'clock in that area, just a little farther north and west. And the worst of the storm is now pushing farther northward and moving into the Orlando area as we speak. Well, welcome back to our storm alert coverage of Hurricane Charlie. Well, meteorologist Jeff Morrow is live right now at North Reddington Beach, Florida. And Jeff, a uh, close call for folks there. Uh, very close call, as a matter of fact. Very close. As a matter of fact, uh, we were looking on the radar, and the eye, the eye of this Category 4 hurricane passed within about 40 to 45 miles of where I'm standing. That, that's incredible that we never really got more than 45 minutes of rain and the wind probably here never gusted over about 10 or 15 miles an hour. Uh, to be that close to the center of a Category 4 hurricane and not get anything, just amazing. Just shows you how small, how compact this hurricane was as it, as it comes across central Florida. But where it's bad, <laughs> it's been very bad. Let's go ahead and show you some good news that we have here for the folks in Pinellas and Polk counties. The mandatory evacuation has been lifted for both counties. Didn't quite last 24 hours and uh, some good news. They were able to lift it uh, much earlier than I'm sure they anticipated and folks, uh, both the locals and the tourists can come on back now. And also, if you're planning on flying in or maybe you're trying to get out of the Tampa St. Petersburg area, Tampa International Airport opens, reopens at 6 a.m. tomorrow after having been closed today. Now, of course, the streets and the beaches for much of the day today were pretty much on the quiet side. Really, nobody here. I mean, it was a ghost town uh, up and down the beach. Uh, really nothing more than just a, maybe a couple of locals and a few police officers patrolling the streets. But we did talk to a, a couple people, and most of them took it in stride. Um, I stay because I love really stormy weather and half pants, so I didn't want to leave them. And I just like a good storm, good party. Hit us directly, actually, but I would still like to see a little bit more storm. We were definitely. <laughs> I don't think most people wanted to see too much more storm. I would say that most people, including the uh, owner of the Hilton Hotel here, were pretty happy that uh, this moved by just to the south. Of course, our hearts go out to everybody that uh, not only earlier, but is still being affected by this strong hurricane as it moves through central Florida. Carl and Christina, back to you. Jeff Morrill, thank you very much for that report. We want to talk now about the severe weather that has occurred in the middle of the state, and the storm has actually spawned several tornadoes. That is not at all unusual for landfalling hurricanes. And for more on that, let's turn to our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes. And Dr. Greg, where's some of the worst of the weather now, and where's it expected to be this evening? It's definitely right in Orlando and Kissimmee right now. We've just had reports 87 mile per hour gusts at the Orlando International Airport, 75 mile per hour gusts at Kissimmee. You see this yellow band, that's the leading portion of the eye wall of Charlie. And that's where the damaging winds are. There could be some isolated tornadoes in there as well. And that's going to be pushing up across Orlando, Kissimmee, St. Cloud, Winter Springs area over the next uh, half hour or so. Uh, the center will get to a Daytona Beach, about 11 Orlando, the next uh, 45 minutes. One of the outer rain bands coming towards the Jacksonville area could clip the coastal areas. Oh, about uh, 9.30, 10 o'clock, there could be some tornadoes in that. That band has had tornadoes earlier today. Let's switch sources. We'll see uh, the greatest threat 
is going to continue off from the Orlando area up toward Daytona Beach, up toward the areas in between Daytona Beach and uh, Jacksonville. Still along that core, we could have six inches of rain. And uh, then as we go into tomorrow, as the center of Charlie gets close to the, uh, the coastal areas of the Carolinas, we could get four to six inches of rain there. And some of those coastal areas, there's a chance of some tornadoes in that area tomorrow by Sunday as Charlie continues off farther to the north and east. More of that heavy rain could get up into the New York City area. That mid-Atlantic has had a tremendous amount of rain over the past few days. Some of the uh, rivers are at or above flood stage already, so flooding is a big problem. Dr. Greg Forbes, thank you very much for that report. Let's go ahead and recap the expected path of this storm. In the next couple of days, it should continue off into northern Florida, then emerge somewhat out over the open water in the Atlantic to the east of Georgia and South Carolina, and then drop back in to the coast right around North and South Carolina. We think around the middle of the day tomorrow, it's not going to be nearly as strong as it once was, but it certainly could be a hurricane, and it could continue to cause very heavy rain, as Dr. Greg just mentioned, as well as some storm surge and some very strong wind. For that reason, we have hurricane warnings now in effect from Cape Lookout, North Carolina, right down to Cocoa Beach. And just a quick look at what's going on with the storm right now. The wind down to 115 miles an hour officially as of the 8 p.m. advisory moving towards the north northeast at about 25 miles an hour. And, you know, Jeff made a good point earlier when he said that, uh, you know, his heart goes out to some of the people dealing with this storm when those winds are howling and uh, you're not used to this kind of weather. It can be really frightening. So these storms don't just fall apart when they hit land. Still dealing with a formidable storm. We'll keep you updated. This program was brought to you by The Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. Hey, Dad. The wedding's here in the backyard. We've got three months. Well, why don't we start with lumber? Yeah. I've got the fencing, the paint. I need new carpet, too. Can you drill a pilot hole? And make okay. sure that goes into the 2 by 4 So this is your oldest daughter? She's my only daughter. For 25 years, the Home Depot has been the one place for know-how, confidence, you ready? and helping dreams come true. That's so beautiful. The Home Depot. You can do it. We can help. Today, you're a super painter with the Wagner Paint Crew. It's built for big jobs with an extra long hose that gives you the reach you need. The innovative paint crew. One of the ways Wagner gives you more power because there's always something that needs painting. Wagner. Paint fast. Paint smart. Hurricane Charlie. Where will it head next? How will it affect your weekend plans? We're tracking the storm with live reports from the field. You need to be off the streets in Fort Myers. This is a very, very dangerous situation. An in-depth expert analysis throughout the day. Find travel delays, see projected paths, continually updated maps, and additional on-location footage at weather.com. Charlie coverage continues right here on the Weather Channel. So stay tuned as we keep you ahead of the storm. This is the one city.